Hello everybody and welcome back to Marwa Manor Farm. So I'm just carting a big full load, well not that big actually, 21,000 litres of canola over to Rainbow Ridge stores just over here. The price is okay, it's not impressive, it's about £920 per 1,000 litres, which as I say isn't impressive. So I'm just going to sell one load and then the rest is going to go into storage. The reason why I'm selling some is because we only have £21,000 and I would like to have just a bit more than that, just, you know, spending money because I do spend quite a bit of money on various different things. Uh, the first thing which I'm going to spend money on today is going to be a quad bike or a four-wheeler uh, depending on what you call it. Here in the UK it tends to be called a quad bike. Uh, the reason for it really, the quad bike, is to be able to get between the different machines fairly quickly because today is going to be another episode where we are jumping jobs quite a bit. Uh, especially as the combine is doing its own thing. I just need to cart every now and then. And we also have the fence, which is currently putting poplars in, which actually should be completed fairly soon. So, yeah, just loads of different things that I need to keep an eye on. Plus, hopefully, a different job as well, because, like I said, the poplars, uh, they're almost finished. The putting the poplars in has almost been completed. As usual, thank you to everybody who has noticed that the tractor needs to be serviced. So that is a job I need to do probably straight away, assuming the combine is not full. I don't think it'll be full straight away. After all, it is canola, so it does fill up fairly slowly. Uh, so if I do have time, I will service it now, and then I don't have to worry about forgetting it later. <laughs> so, yes, uh, that'll be the first thing I do. Then the quad bike. Wow, it's actually already full. I didn't realise it was going to be anywhere near full. I thought it would be about 50%. Um, right, well, okay, well, that's what I'm going to have to do first then. We have to keep the combine moving. But as you can see, it has already covered a vast area. It is getting through this fairly quickly. Uh, which is nice because it is a big field and it's also quite a repetitive job. It's in a very awkward place, so... Crop destruction is off. For this exact reason, for reversing into here. But I don't like doing that. Yeah, I thought quite a bit was done, but when you look at what has been done and what hasn't... Yeah, it's when you realise that it is just really starting off. But it's fine, it can just keep continuing in every episode, in the background, doing its own thing. There we go, and now we have an issue with the fence. Uh, so there's always something I need to do. Uh, we'll deal with that in a second. First things first, repairing this. Second thing is going to be to get the quad bike for that exact reason, so I can race over to the tractors and get problems sorted out. Okay, into the workshop. Let's just hope it doesn't select the trailer, although I do have workshop tabber installed I think uh, yeah that's good, okay so if we just repair that $1,497 wow that is some expensive repair work I should probably also unload the trailer, makes sense since I am literally right next to the uh, storage silo so there we go good and now I need to take it back to the field and then hopefully the final teleport uh, when I go over to the shop to buy the quad bike. The quad bike can be the new teleporter. Uh, I think that would be alright if I put it here. So there it is, the Can-Am 1100 XT. Looks decent, looks like a nice mod. Uh, we've got the stock engine or the tuned engine. I think the only difference there is the horsepower because the speed is still the same. So I guess the acceleration is increased, but, you know, I'm boring, so let's go for stock. It's a good excuse. Look at that. Oh yes, I can really do some posing on here. Oh yeah. Right, over to the fence. Whoa. It's very bumpy. Uh, it's like a bone shaker. Right, oh wow, the furrows really do pull it to a standstill. So what is the issue here? Let's take a look at the issue. We've run out of boxes. Right, let's get this thing fired up. Get it taken over to the trailer where the boxes are. And hopefully refill. Right, okay, so that is one. Uh, the one in the middle seems to be quite full still. So I think it's going to have to stay put. But as for this side... Well... Uh, oh no, it's, it's, it's going down. It's gone down for some reason. 
What, what have I done? I'm not refilling one on the trailer, am I? Right, so despite there being no box on here at all, apparently it is still full, so I'm going to take its word for it. How weird. See if that works. If I just lower that down. Hopefully it does. Yep, so despite there being no crate, it is still working. I'm not too sure how long for, because it's not actually 100% full, I don't think. It just thinks it is. So, uh, yeah, I'll just keep an eye on it, but... It's not too far to go, it is actually covering the ground fairly quickly. I think we're going to do at least half of this field. There is the lonely quad bike. It does seem to be a, a nice mod though. I think it's actually converted from 15 and 17 and possibly even 13 too. Uh, it's one of those mods I think which just keeps getting transferred, converted, but that's good because it is a nice, a nice thing to get around on. It's been out for a while. Shame it's so bumpy. I guess it is a ploughed field. Next stop, the John Deere and the Combine Harvester. I'm assuming it is almost full. So if I just park here, there we go, and we'll unload. I think I'm going to have to take over control of the fence because it's actually really struggling with just one crate now being on there. So I'm going to have to consume everything and then put three brand new ones on for the worker to recognise it's going to work properly. So that'll have to be a time lapse in a minute or two, but first, yeah, still unloading this. I did go to the bottom and I unloaded a bit of it, but it got right to the end and then I thought, well, we might as well just leave it until it comes back to the top to unload properly. So here it is, 80-something percent full, 85. Uh, should be a good load. And then, yeah, I'll move back onto the fence and consume the entire crate. I think there is going to be quite a bit of the field covered though, just by one crate. They're big things. Right, so this is going to be the final piece of the poplars. Uh, it's actually going to end up being the perfect timing, I think. Yeah, this is some speed planting. Look at that, that couldn't have been better, really. We still have the slightest piece left. Uh, it's not really worth putting it in, though. Unless I can double it up. Kind of. Uh, I don't know if that's actually doubling it up or just getting rid of the first piece, but yeah, good. That is done. So, yeah. Next thing is to return these to the shop because it is actually uh, these are actually leased, which is costing quite a bit of money. Good, that's empty. Obviously, I have bought too many uh, by a long way, but I can always use them in the future. I might even be able to resell them. I'm not too sure if you can resell poplar crates, but I would have thought you can. But I'll keep them for now, no point buying them just to get rid of them again. And if you can't, I would just dispose of them and then add the money back in. It's just a way of doing it if uh, all else fails. But I don't really want to do that, it's just a last resort. So yeah, these are costing over a £1,000 each per hour, or to begin with. So I must get rid of them. There's going to be quite a few things to sell here. Basically, I want the whole thing, except for the fence in the box. So if I... Yeah, if I do that, that should be fine. We'll drop that off over there. And, uh, yeah, hopefully it should return absolutely everything. Ah. Customise the pallets. That sounds fun. Oh, look at that. That sounds very fun. Shame there's no customising we can do. Uh, what can I do with it? I don't want it. No, what's it doing there? Get rid of it. I'll use this. Very convenient that I had this here. Oh no, the combine is almost full again. It seems like an, an ever never-ending job. 
unloading that combine, which I suppose makes sense. That is what happens in Harvest. You have to keep carting. Right, go. Go everything. Yeah, sell that, even though it's free. Okay, right, so that is all fine. If we just take the fent back, I can then go and unload the combine. So since this needs to go back to the yard anyway, I can now drive this over here. Uh, I think it is still moving, but I don't think I'm going to get there in time. It was 80% full a few minutes ago. There we go. And I suppose, yeah, next job is going to happen straight away. This needs to be replanted with a different crop. I'm uh, not too sure which crop to put in, though. That might have to be a bit of a vote, either in this episode or the next one. It's full. Yeah, it didn't quite make it in time, but... Uh, well, it's not really worth it for this piece, but if it was at the top of the field, I would uh, get back in it and set it off again. Actually, I might do it, just to demonstrate, because otherwise it sits here. It sits here not moving. But if I get it going again... Go on, go on. Yep, yeah, that's good. Uh, we should be able to do it on the move. And potentially take in more from what it's harvesting currently. It just speeds things up slightly. But like I say, this is going to be a never-ending job. I'm just going to have to keep doing it in every episode, or in every stream. I still haven't streamed, I want to stream. Uh, if I do, then obviously it will be finished then, because I'll have two combines on the go. Right, that's good. That is very good. And it's almost full, so I'll take it back over to the cell point, or the, the uh, storage point, and uh, we'll put it into storage, ready for when the price is very good. So that's uh, 19,000 litres, which I think would uh, usually be about £25,000 if it was a good price. And yeah, I'll put the Challenger, I'd say, in this shed here, or the one next to it, depending on how, how the uh, layout is. I don't know exactly where the cultivator is, actually. Ah, it's in the shed at the end. Okay. So quite a bit of vehicle transferring today, tractor transferring. It's all fun. Right, okay, so there is the direct drill. It will be direct drill because I'm not going to be spending a lot of time doing cultivating or ploughing. Um, but it probably does need to be spread with lime, which is going to be quite a good job, yeah. Needs lime. So, yeah, nothing else to do here. Time to clear up over the other side of the farm. So we've got the quad bike, which can stay there until the end. Uh, the tractor. We actually have the Deutsch Fire there as well. I think that's on the cultivator. Which technically should be continuing, but the rest of it might be direct drilled. This piece here. So not much point wasting diesel. It's all mintil. Okay, so I think this does fold up. Uh, it's doing a sneaky thing. There we go. Yep, that's good. <laughs> it's like driving on ice. I don't think there's any traction on these front wheels at all. It is way too heavy for it. Right, full lock. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. Whoa. Ah, my milk tanker. Well, I suppose it's a good way of remembering that I do need to go and sell the milk, and I need to look after the cows a bit more as well. How the simplest thing, which reminds you, well, I suppose crashing into a milk tank isn't something you'd tend to call simple, or something you do on a daily basis, but yeah, still. Uh, there we go, and there's a, a weight which I really could have done with. Oh, it doesn't have a weight holder thingy. Front three point linkage. Um, okay, so, yeah, cows, how are you doing? Your cleanliness is awful, and you do need some silage or hay and grass, but grass isn't really totally necessary, but I, I would like to give them silage. So, we do have some silage here. It would be worth giving it to them. So, if I go and, um, yeah, if I go and get the quad bike, yeah, this isn't really working. I should have two quad bikes. Or I should just have a quad bike everywhere, so wherever I am, I have something close by to trundle along to the next field in. I suppose, actually, I should unload it. 
as I'm here. It keeps it moving. Right, there we go. Now, I think these poplars are actually going to take a long time, because after all, they are still trees. Um, poplar trees are, are trees. So, uh, yeah. It's not going to be as long as the, the trees over there, the sapling trees, because they're going to be grown into actual trees. Whereas these are just going to be grown into managed sticks, if, if I can't think of a better term. Yes, sticks will do. Poplar sticks. Yes, how, how very intelligent of me. Anyway, let me just put these... Well, I'll put them there. They're out of the way. Um, yeah, but these, they're still going to take a while. Even for Farming Simulator. It's not going to be overnight. As long as they're ready, by the 26th of March, it's all good. Crop growth is on fast. Uh, I don't know if anybody else has the problem, but I do tend to get my words mixed up, or my letters mixed up, and I say things like, Grop growth. Yes, how hilarious. Here we are. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'm looking for. Now my quad bike's going to be left here. Unless I take the quad bike back in the box. I don't think it's going to fit. There you go. You can keep your box. I'm going to take the quad bike. Much more fun. I'm sure I can do this. <laughs> it seems a little heavy at the front. Yeah, that'll do. As long as it stays on. Right. Efficiency at its best. <laughs> looks like the wind. Looks like the wind's blowing the grass, but actually, it is the uh, the wheels being detected as flattening the grass. Still, looks quite impressive, though. Actually, that really does look good. If if the grass did blow when you drove past it with a vehicle, that would be realistic. And there's no wind in Farming Simulator. I know the trees are slightly animated, but there's no wind. You can't have a storm. Why can't you have a storm? Right, here we are, good, and it's all here in one piece, it never fell off. you just have to trust me on that. Uh, it didn't though. Right, so, silage bales. I think they're going to take quite a few. And this is only a pallet fork. I think they'll take four. I want to get out of here in one piece. Uh, oh, that was inevitable. Yes, I can't open the front gate. I, I don't know how many people have said just go and open it. I've tried it from both sides and I can't open it. It's probably just me. But yeah, I'm just going to keep going through here. Right, is that... That seems to be everything. I wonder if that will disappear. Oh, it has gone. It's because it was still on the tines. Right, so, they're going to take the extra one as well, the one I dropped. It's just here. Yeah, I don't know if this is a great big pile of bricks or something, but I'd love to uh, try and do a big jump with the quad bike. I'll have to get them cleaned out as well in the future. If there is a, a cleanliness mod, I am tempted to get it, because, after all, it's not like we're cleaning out the muck, you have to do that as well. It's just... Yeah, th this is the muck. This is what I do need to clean out, but I think the cleanliness here is going by the trough, unless it's been changed on this map. If it has, then great. If it is basing it on the manure, then that is really good. Coming through cows. Yeah, there must be a pile of rubble somewhere. You would hope. I think I've seen a few. Pretty sure, somewhere around here, there is a pile of rubble. I might have to set up my own uh, jump in the field. Dump a pile of soil. Yeah, if there's going to be something that's bound to be in an area where I can't get speed up. Well, that's something to look at in the next video, I suppose. Getting some air with the quad bike. Oh, I've not been in here before. Oh, nice. This is my kind of place. It's a nice rack of tyres. Oh, nice. Farming simulator. Grass paint. Oh, that is brilliant. Right, it's too much fun for one day. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Ooh. See you again soon. Bye for now. It's a good chair, this.